What's up guys, welcome to your 17th biology tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about transporting materials through the plasma membrane or cell membrane, whatever you want to call it. So we already know that things need to get across the plasma membrane and that's because, first of all, cells create things for other parts of the body so obviously when they're created inside the cell they need to ship out towards other parts of the body therefore crossing the plasma membrane and aside from that things need to get inside the cell because whenever a cell needs energy it uses particles from food so obviously it also gets like oxygen and stuff those things need to get inside the cells so the cell can break them down use them for energy and we'll talk about exactly how the cell does that later on but that is the reason why a cell would need something from outside to come inside again crossing the plasma membrane so simple enough so that is why things need to transport across the plasma membrane all those materials but let's go ahead and talk about how they do this well whenever you have a really small molecule like oxygen is really small or I don't know what else carbon dioxide is an example these are really small mo molecules or particles that can go ahead and pretty much slide across the membrane easy so those things are always flowing in and out and it doesn't really take a lot of work from anything else so they can pass through the plasma membrane relatively easy without any complex method however certain other things like let me go ahead and choose a color and let me go ahead and choose red so um, a larger molecule like food is actually a really large molecule it can't go ahead and just cross this with ease without anyone noticing because it's so big and those uh, phospholipids are packed together so tightly it can't just slide across like I don't know oxygen can because it's a lot bigger than oxygen so whenever the cell needs energy it needs food but it needs a way to get that inside the cell so whenever larger molecules need to get inside the cell they need help from proteins and I know in the last tutorial I drew a diagram of the membrane and I showed you guys the phospholipids and the proteins and I pretty much just drew the proteins there and I'm like don't worry about what they do we're gonna be talking about it in the next tutorial well this is the tutorial so like I said whenever a larger molecule needs to get inside the cell it uses proteins but what exactly does a protein do well some proteins form openings called channels and a channel is basically exactly like it sounds it pretty much forms a channel or an opening that allows larger molecules to pass through alright that's one job another job however is with carrier proteins carrier proteins now carrier proteins are pretty much exactly like they sound too they pretty much pick up a molecule on one side of the cell so say we have some food over here it can't just pass through or else it'll get stuck so what a carrier protein will do is actually pick this up kind of like taking it on a piggyback ride and drop it off on the other side of the plasma membrane so it picks it up on one side carries it hence the term carrier protein and drops it off on the other side of the membrane so those are two jobs of proteins again one type forms channels the other type literally picks up a larger molecule carries it across the membrane and drops it off and if you're saying all right like what do they have arms or something well they attach to them and we're going to be looking at these processes later on and we're going to be talking about this more especially when we learn about how cells turn food into energy but for right now the key things that we have to take out of this tutorial is that cells create things for other parts of the body and they also need things to come inside them to form various things energy stuff like that so that is why things need to transport across the plasma membrane also smaller molecules like oxygen and co2 they can pass through really easy so they don't need the help of anything else however larger molecules such as food as we looked at in this example they need help from proteins and proteins either form channels right here or come in the form of carrier proteins which pick up the molecules and drop them off on the other side of the cell so that is all you get for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at different methods of transportation it's going to be sweet so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys later